Go on, Johnny. And I'll tell you who her is. Cassandra Nova, a megalomaniacal psychotic asshole. A finger licking dead inside pixie slap a third rate dime store nut nut. And I'll tell you what she can do. I'm listening. She can lick my goddamn cinnamon ring clean and kick rocks all the way to bald hell. In fact, I don't give a if she removes all my skin and pops me like some nightmarish blood balloon. If the last thing I do in this godforsaken gutter existence is like that fox on fire, I still won't die happy. <laughs> Girl, you crazy. I won't be happy until I've urinated on her freshly barbecued corpse and husk the charred remains while gargling juggernauts juggernauts. Wow. And you can quote me. I just, I just want to do no, no big deal. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another Dear Jill Jill Tour review. I'm your host, Lionel Hutz, and today we'll be looking at the Let's Look at Some Jones. Alright, in this edition we're gonna look at some Cobra shit. So first up, we're gonna take a look at the retro carded Cobra Trooper, and I honestly think this is the best iteration of the Cobra Trooper yet. My only complaint would be no backpack, but I could live with that. But he comes with a nice loadout, you get the Cobra Pew Pewer, you get a pistol, you also get this long range rifle, a knife, and a stand. Overall, I think they just nailed the blue perfectly, and he's just not overpainted everything is just right for this figure so if these things hit some discount I will be loading up on Cobra Troopers as usual I usually like to grab at least four of each kind of regular Cobra Trooper so I have a bunch of the Viper Island Cobra Troopers and I also have a few of the main releases I'm just talking about the boas in blue next up we have the Iron Grenadier bat and let me tell you something I love this fucking design I love the evil robot head. The paint is dialed in perfectly. I love the color scheme, the black, the gold, and the red. I always have. I like the Iron Grenadiers as a kid, and I'm really excited to see how they do Destro. And overall, this is just the Arctic Bat design. You basically get that head, and you get the chainsaw attachment. And my only gripe would be that they really decked this bat out to be something completely different, and it's just a few little mods that make it look way different than the other bats. Now, overall, like I said, I love this design. I love this head. I just wish that some of these upgrades to this bat were on this bat. Maybe like the chest plate or the different belt, but you're getting my drift. And here he is with the alternate head sculpt. That looks great with the contrast of the gold. He comes with all the usual bat stuff. We got the claw. We got the blowtorch down here. We got the freaking laser. There is fish hands. Yeah, so overall, like I said, this Iron Grenadier bat is fucking fantastic. Next up, we got our boy, retro carded Cobra Commander with the vac metal mask. This is a perfect figure. And I rarely say that, but the sculpt is perfect, paint is perfect, the plastic is good on everything, the vac metal looks beautiful, the stripe on the helmet is perfect. So yeah, I have no complaints. And here we have the HasLab version. It is a lighter blue. The forearms are definitely different, so this figure will always just remain special the way it should. But basically everything else is the same. But construction on this figure is way better. He moves better, he doesn't feel so stiff. But getting closer in on the vac metal, it looks fantastic. They did the seam in the middle of the mask. Right. The stripe down the top of the mask is pretty spot on on mine. And here on the right leg, we got some different color reds running down the side. Not so bad on this side. On the back, he has this beautiful backpack right here. His little pew pewer just fits in right in there like that. And the figure also included a bunch of other hands that we've seen before. Next up, we have the Iron Grenadier Soldier. And this thing is fucking beautiful. It came out so good. I think this is the crowning jewel 
middle of the most recent wave. So right away, the helmet, the mask, everything is just so spot on. The colors are all dialed in. I'm getting this huge Kylo Ren vibe coming off this figure, but it all just works once you get the top of the helmet on. That's a hell of a bucket you got there, sir. Look at the tie and the medals down there. The collar paint, the entire jacket. Like this thing just looks phenomenal. Now the legs and the boots are just all crimson guard, but they're done very well. I love how the jacket comes around to the back there and it moves so you can move it with the figure. It's not that bad. Back here we get a holster for a pistol. Got that pistol right there. We'll just throw that back in. Boop. Back here he's got a harness for his freaking Destro laser. And I love that they included that. So you know this guy's an Iron Grenadier. Here we got his sword. It's the same thing as the Crimson Guard. Attaches the same way. You could just pour it out. Also, we get the sword and it's gold. I love gold. The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the texture. He also comes equipped with the beefy machine gun. And like I said, the weapons are definitely sturdier. So I'm pretty happy about that. And he comes with that double barreled machine gun thing. And now we come to this sorry son of a bitch. Now this figure looks awesome, but the quality is dog shit. And some of the engineering is dog shit. Like I don't understand how you could fuck this figure up, but whatever factory built this figure, they did a horrible fucking job. Job. So first of all, we have a balance problem because this guy has this gigantic friggin' hairball nugget stuck on his back for some reason. They also tried to give the wings these double joints that if you try to move them too hard, you'll break the peg inside so that they pop out and can't hold their own weight. So this is just an engineering nightmare. Also, I don't know why you had to give it the floaty shoulder pads back here. It seems to have fucked the engineering up on the whole deal. I would have been fine with the gross crab shoulder there. When I try to move this up and down, the top pin in here wants to break. Also, this only extends so high up. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't want to really move well. And then when you fan the wings out and pushes itself down, so no matter how how much you're gonna try to push this up, it's just gonna float back down. Now, I'm not saying that it isn't sculpted beautifully because a lot of work went into it and it does look nice. It just does not operate. And that's half of a toy is the operation. Otherwise, it's just a fucking statue and I could go over to Todd McFarlane for pretty much beautiful statues. So next, let's go over the feet here because I have to keep him on a stand, otherwise he will fall over. This is where the bad engineer is gonna come in. On the foot, you can go side to side. Barely is any back and forth movement there. So you really can't balance this guy properly at all. And I mean, he does look beautiful. I am not bagging on the sculpting. Like, I love the way this toy looks. And I think it's awesome. He's basically just a statue who can't really move. So I like the colors. I like everything going on here. We have a huge huge fucking gap at the waist. So down here, he doesn't get much movement. He does get a lot of movement at the top torso. Arms are not bad until we get down to here and they don't really move so well and this just kind of gets in the way of everything. So over here at the arms, I don't mind the crusty armor. Kind of gets in the way of this. Uh, this joint down here was seized where it meets the glove, so I had to heat that up. Down here, he's got gripping hands, but they don't really do shit. The weapon just kind of flops around in there. And I mean, up here on the face, the paint is so perfectly dialed in. I think it looks great. It's just the engineering of the figure to actually move and do stuff wasn't so well thought out. And it's a shame because it's just a shitty toy to try and pose and move around. He also comes with this crusty crab alicious helmet. And I mean, he looks like the perfect crustacean now. And here he is with his fisted hands and whatever Cobra Law weird shit this thing's supposed to be. It's got some fucking tentacles and they're all bendy. I really didn't need it. And also, I hated this accessory as a kid, so it does nothing for me now. So at the end of the day, 
And my final thoughts on this wave of figures are, I'm very fucking pleased other than Nemesis Enforcer. And he looks great and he'll look good on a shelf, but he is a shittily constructed figure. Iron Grenadier Soldier is fucking amazing. I love bats, so you can just give me a bat in any fucking form and I'll buy it like an idiot. And getting the one true Coco Commander with a vac metal helmet and everything right is just the icing on the fucking cake. And that's all I got this time, people. I'd like to thank you for stopping by. And I'll catch you on the next review. Holy fuck, that was diabolical. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yo, yo, drop the dirty bastard creeping in the alleyway. Toy case the gorilla killer lurking where the shadows play. Sunday saw us tripping red as a crime scene. Two titans in the crime dream in the machine. Raw dogs, bar cloud, light up the midnight street. Sex spots malfunction, sparks under the neon heat. Spicy Tim hustles, flipping bills in his sleep. Hot wages, plot steam, too high for deep. Mega powers align, taking over the day. Yo, Joe, Jerk, and Toy, clearing out the prey. Maniac minds meet, no time for delay. Hustle on repeat, they paved their own way. Matt Black whips, blending in the dark. Toy gains, cooking deals, slicker than a shark. Yo, Joe, Jerk slides in, got the snitch on lock. Two man army fists harder than rock. Blood on the pavement, city's heart bleeds dry. Clouds of vengeance overhead in the sky.